I'll show you how to mix rap vocals on FL Studio using vocal presets. I'll be using two different presets. One of them is going to be with free stock plugins that comes directly with FL Studio. The other is going to be with Wave plugin. This preset right here is the one I use for every single one of my songs. Every single video you've seen on my channel where I record a song was used with this preset. It's called the It's Mode V1 preset. If you want to use my own preset, you'll need to get yourself plugins from Waves. But don't worry too much about it because I made a second preset that imitates this one, except it's with stock plugins. It's called the North preset. Let's start with my own preset. First. So once you're done downloading the preset, link in description, you will receive an FL Studio file. Before I even start recording, I always want to make sure I keep a clean copy of that file so that I can constantly use it for other songs that I'm going to be doing in the future. So what I do is I just load the preset. I just come here, press save as, and just rename it as, let's say, a song name. And the original one is clean and safe. Now we can proceed. So once you open the preset, what you'll notice is that when you go on the mixer channel, there's going to be already pre-adjusted settings and insert that are already there ready to be used. Now, it may look a little bit overwhelming or confusing, but don't worry, it's actually really easy. I'm gonna go over every single insert so you know exactly how to use it. So the first we'll be using is called a microphone. The first thing you want to do, come here at the top right and select input one or insert one or in one. That's going to be your microphone that's plugged in your computer. Now, on the microphone, that's the only thing we'll be doing. You don't add no effects here. Don't touch the levels as well. Don't do anything to the microphone insert. Now, you're going to notice that the microphone is actually routed to this this lead vocal channel right here. I did that on purpose so that it was easy for people to just record specific vocals that they wanted. So if I want to record the main vocals, my microphone is directly routed to the lead vocal. And it's really easy to change. So if let's say, for example, I'm done with the lead vocal and I want to record the double, all I have to do is go on the microphone insert, hold control and left click on the next insert. Now my microphone is routed to the double. So now as soon as I press record, I'm ready to record the double. So you want to do this for each individual vocals that you want to record. Make sure you hold control because if you don't hold control, it's going to be selecting multiple channel at the same time. And we don't want that. I separated the voice channels by a specific color. That was to indicate which channel should you route the microphone to. Don't go and route it to the reverb or to any of those other channels. You only route it to those in green. So now let's move on to the green part, which are the vocal channels. The only thing you do in this step, you simply go on your slot and select your auto tune. Only add this plugin in those green insert and make sure it's at the slot number one. So make sure like autotune is always at the top. So you might notice in the ad libs, there's already like a bunch of plugins, uh, but you always want to make sure the number one slot is going to be your autotune. That's really important. So do that for each individual insert in the green area and don't add any other effects in those channels because all the effects are going to be in the next following channel. So what you'll notice is that the lead vocals and the ad libs are themselves routed to a vocal chain. And you'll notice that the main vocals behind left and right are also also routed to their own vocal chain. So this is the vocal chain where you'll notice all the effects that will be applied to the lead and the double. So this is where all the pre-adjusted and pre-made settings are already there and adjusted. So you don't need to go and tweak things up. It's already there ready to be used directly when you load the preset. So it goes from the microphone to the lead vocal, to the vocal chain with all the effects that follow. And what you'll notice here is that the vocal chain is also routed to a reverb and delay right here. Now, the reason we did that is because I wanted the reverb and delay to come after all those effects that are listed in the vocal chain. You can add other effects if you use flanger or anything else, you can add it right here. But make sure that if you add any other effects besides reverb and delay, make sure that you route it through the vocal chain. So you don't route it through the lead vocal. The lead vocal needs to be routed to the vocal chain. The vocal chain will be routed to the reverb and delay and you can route it to other stuff as well. But for this preset, I only added reverb and delay. That's what I always use. And you can control how much reverb and delay you want with this knob right here. Next is going to be the vocal Bus. Both vocal chain for the hand vocals and for the lead vocals, they're both routed to the vocal bus. The vocal bus basically it just controls all those vocals in one insert, which means that if I take the vocal bus to the max, it's the same thing as taking all of those all the way up. Now I kind of fucked up. I shouldn't have done this shit. No cap. But uh, oh shit, what the fuck I just did? Oh my god. Okay, I need to <laughs> fucking reset. Hold up. So when you take it up, it's the same thing as taking all of those things up. And when you take it down, it's the same thing as taking all of those down. We do that just so it's simple to level the vocals with the instrumental. Next is the instrumental. This is where you route the beat that you stole from YouTube. Come on, bro. Do you feel ashamed, bro? Just kidding, bro. We all do this. Ideally, when you route your beat to the instrumental, you want to make sure you only route final beats. So if you 
produced your own beat or somehow you have the stems of the beat, don't load everything on that one insert. Just go mix your beat on another file, FL Studio, and export it in a WAV file or MP3. And that one unique audio file, you want to come through and route, and route it to the channel 2, the insert 2. So for me, for example, I have this beat right here. I'm just going to come through and route it to insert 2. So now if I play my beat, it's going to be routing playing through here. Let's take an example. Hey, yo, Mo, you got some See, it comes out of here, right? And then what you'll notice is that every single one of those inserts are all routed to the pre-master. Now, what's a pre-master? So pretty simply, we just use a pre-master to create headroom so that we can come through and add the mastering plugin in the master channel to bring everything higher. It's just so that we make sure the beat does not clip. So what you do is you're going to be pretty much leveling your whole beat when you're done recording. And then with a pre-master, you want to give probably around 3 to 6 dB of headroom by just taking this down. So pretty much when you take the pre-master down, it's taking the whole song down but i'll show you practically how it actually looks like when you record a song level everything with the preset it's super simple i'll do it myself in front of you so you understand my workflow as well as how you can reproduce it for yourself there's two different ways that you can record your vocals you can either record the vocals at the same time as you hear your voice with all the effects or you can just record the same way as you always do if you use a usb microphone and when you're done recording let's say your main vocals or your lead vocals you can then come and route it to the right channel which at the end of the day comes down to the same thing so let's record as an example first thing i I did is I came through on the beat. I'm going to be routing it to the right insert. So the instrumental is on channel two. I came here, double click channel two. Next, I'll come on microphone and I selected input one. That's my microphone right here. Perfect. Now I want to record the lead vocal first. So let's do the lead vocal. So if, if let's say it was here, I just hold control left click. Now we're recording the lead vocal. So on the lead vocals, I already added my auto tune and the right key. So that's perfect. If you don't know how to find the key of the auto tune or you don't know how to use the auto tune, check out this next video right here. I already made a video on how to use auto tune and all the effects are already there. So we don't have to mix anything. It's already Let's say now it's time to record some vocals. Let's do it. I'll just go here and start recording. That's it. Hey, I'ma get it all by myself. I'm not too sure if I'm really doing well. I was daydreaming, it's like I'm still stuck in hell. I'm in a past tense, I don't know you so well. Yeah, time is it going. I was there hoping. Feels like I'm chosen. Bitch, I'm posted on the block, fighting my demons on a daily. I don't know them, but I bet they gon' envy me. I was there feeling down bad, why they hitting me? I ain't not a I just finished recording the lead vocal. As I showed you, I went on microphone, routed to lead vocals, and I just pressed record. If you record it directly, it's gonna automatically assign them to the right channel. So if my microphone was recorded using the lead vocal, it's gonna automatically assign it to the lead vocal insert, which is six for this preset. But if, for example, you're not recording in real time with the effects because you're using a USB microphone, it doesn't change anything. What you need to do then is to select all those vocals, right click here and press consolidate this track from track start. It's gonna be to creating a consolidated version of your of your vocals right here. Make sure when you do that, make sure that your vocals that you just recorded are dry, no effects on them. So then you'll have this one file with all the vocals. Double click it and assign it to the right channel. So we just recorded the lead vocals. So I'm gonna put it where the lead vocals are, which is right here. All right, so now let's move on. I'm, I want to record the doubles, so let's do it. I'm gonna come through on microphone, hold control and left click on double. I'm gonna get it all by myself. I'm really doing well. I was daydreaming, I was still stuck in hell. Past tense, I don't know you so well Friends, cause I keep making enemies But I bet they gon' envy me I ain't in a rest, it's so sad Gonna blow all I'm so sad I just finished recording the double There they are Now, let's go record the ad -lib. I'm gonna come back to make the channel My phone and select right control left click Now you hear me with the ad -lib. I'm not too sure I was daydreaming, I was day hoping Feels like I'm chosen, not making enemies Doing down bad, why the enemy, yeah now that we have all the vocal takes, we don't need to do no mixing because the mixing has already been done. Only thing we'll be doing is some leveling. Leveling is simple. You just level the vocals to a point where it sounds good. That's it. So we'll start with the lead vocal. I'm not too sure if I'm really doing well. I was daydreaming, I was still stuck in hell. I'm in a past tense, I don't know you so well. I think the lead vocals sound good here for me. Now let's move to the double. By myself, I'm not too sure if I'm really doing well. I was daydreaming, I was still stuck in hell I'm in a past tense, I don't know you so well I like where the double sits, it's not too loud But it's not, it's, you know, it's just a little bit to add to that lead vocal Now we in the ad libs, let's, let's play with the ad libs Get it all by myself, I'm not too sure if I'm really doing well I was daydreaming, I was still stuck in hell 
I'm in a past tense, I don't know you so well. What I did here, I just leveled the lead vocal with the double, with the ad libs at a point where they each sound good together. Now with the vocal bus, I'm basically controlling those three vocals in one. So I can bring them all three together, up or lower. So I'm gonna play with the vocal bus with the instrumental to see where it sounds good together. So I'm gonna come through and open the instrumental now and let's play together. Yeah, I'ma get it all by myself I'm not too sure if I'm really doing well I was daydreaming, I was still stuck in hell I'm in a past tense, I don't know you so well I like where the vocals sit at in the vocal bus in comparison with the instrumental. I think it's a good balance of beat and vocal. Now it's time to move to the pre-master. So let's see, is the beat clipping? Yeah, oh yeah, it's definitely way too much. We want now to reduce the pre-master to a point where the beat peaks at like six or three or between the two, right? Yeah, I'ma get it all by myself. I'm not too sure if I'm really doing well. All right, so I like here, it pretty much peaks at three, which gives us enough headroom to add a mastering plug. So I'm gonna now move to the master channel. Just come through and select Fruity Limiter. I'll just show you a quick setting. Just bring the attack down, release down, sustain down. And we want to boost the gain to a point where it makes the, it brings the beat loud, but not distorted, right before it becomes distorted. Yeah, I'ma get it all by myself. I'm not too sure if I'm really doing well. I was daydreaming, I was still stuck in her friends Cause I keep making enemies I don't know them, but I bet they gon' envy me I was there feeling down bad by the enemy Yeah, I ain't in a rest, it's so sad Blow, That's all there is to it, bro. You know what I'm saying? Listen, with the mixing preset, so freaking easy, bro. Like, you don't need to worry about the mixing to be right or wrong. Literally, you open the preset, select which vocal you want to do, the lead vocal you want to record, the double, select it, record it, level it properly, and that's it, you're done. That's simple. I want to show you what it would sound like if there was no mix on it. Yeah, I'm gonna get it all by myself. I'm not too sure if I'm really doing well See, it's, it's just, it's terrible Like, you have to mix your song There's no way you don't mix your song So, when we add the mix Yeah, I'ma get it all by myself Now, I want to use the stock plugin preset Which is called North This is the exact same thing as my own It's Mode preset Except this one is strictly with stock plugin Which means that anybody that has FL Studio Can use this preset right here So, what I did is I loaded the same beat and the same vocals So, now all the audio files are routed to the right channel As always make sure you route the auto-tune on those green inserts make sure auto-tune is in slot number one pretty much we'll do the same thing once you're done recording and you have your vocals and your beat routed now it's time to just simply level so let's do it mixing is done by the way you know what i'm saying you can see right here on the vocal chain all the preset has been done already you know it's pre-adjusted the plugins are there ready to use you just record level done it takes a second now let's let's level everything let's start with the main vocal i'm in a past tense i don't know you so well yeah diamonds are glowing i was there hoping now moving to the double Yeah, I'ma get it all by myself I'm not too sure if I'm really doing well I like where the double sits at now the ad lib I'm not too sure I'm not too sure if I'm really doing well Now I just leveled, like, once again, the main vocal, the double, and the ad libs To a point where they all sound good together And as we mentioned, they are all automatically routed to the vocal bus So now the vocal bus controls all the vocals, right? Now we just use the vocal bus to control all the vocals At a point where it sounds good with the beat That's it, so let's open the beat now I'm in a past tense, I don't know you so well Yeah, diamonds are glowing, I was there hoping Feels like I'm chosen This sound good for me, let's see on the pre-mastered Is the beat clipping? Yeah, I'm a oh yeah, it's definitely it We need to now reduce the pre-mastered to a point where the peak of the song is around maximum 3, right? Yeah, I'ma get it all by myself I'm not too sure if I'm really doing well So around here is perfect, you know what I'm saying, for the pre-master Once again, go on the master, open a fruity limiter Take the attack, release, and sustain down And boost the gauge to a point where it's loud and clear, not distorted Let's do it Yeah, I'ma get it all by myself I'm not too sure if I'm really doing well if you're somebody who struggles with mixing or you can't seem to achieve the right sound you want with your vocal, using preset will honestly be like the greatest thing you can do because you'll just be much more efficient. You don't have to like sit there and come up, tweak all the EQs and compression to a point where it sounds good. And sometimes you think it sounds good and it actually sounds over compressed and over EQed. Using those preset will allow you to just really focus on the creative side of making a song, coming up with the lyrics, coming up with the flow, and then you just level everything and you're done, ready to be released. Plus it saves you money. You don't have to go to a real studio, pay for 
for those fucking hourly session, bro. You're getting finesse, bro, in those studio. Get yourself a mic. You can make a, a million songs if at home. And if you suck at mixing, you don't know what you're doing with the mixing. Pop a preset and yo, you're good to go. There's going to be a free vocal preset for everybody to download. Link in description. That's really just a free preset for those who really got nothing to start with and they really are down bad. They need something to start with. Well, you can download the free preset. But if you're actually serious about getting your vocals to a professional sound, make sure you cop either the It's Mode V1 preset or the North preset with all the stock plugins from FL Studio and you can directly start with really quality vocals. I suggest go cop the North preset, but if you're actually interested in copying those Waves plugins, definitely go cop the It's Mode V1. That's the one that I use for every single one of my songs and videos. Everything is linked in the description or simply go at arcticglobality.com is right here. Make sure to subscribe and I'll see you next time. Peace.